Hello and welcome to Thursday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and lots of you will be delighted to see that on screen we have the latest Rat Run, Rat Run 8 by Marty Sears. This one is called Discontinuous and we continue our journey through these incredible puzzles. Um, we've done every single one of these so far on the channel basically because they've been brilliant. Um, Marty is so original. So for those of you who've not seen one of these videos before, I think I even made a playlist of them. They've become so popular. The idea is to get Finks the Rat to the cupcake and each puzzle has a different set of rules and they're, you know, each puzzle, it's Marty Sears, quintessential Marty Sears, which means they're bonkers, mad, completely original puzzles. Um, and they're often very funny. Um, I have had a squiz through um, the, the rules on this one. It, it features the dreaded Nabna constraint, um, which is it's one that my brain doesn't naturally uh, sort of understand very well. But we'll see what we can do. And I will read you the rules of this one in a moment or two's time. What do I have to tell you about apart from that? Not a great deal. Um, our new app it still isn't out but it might it might be out by the time this video's uh live i am recording this in the afternoon of thursday um and we're literally just waiting for the apple store and android store to sort of approve it and release it so hopefully any moment now keep an eye on our twitter account if you want the very latest at cryptic cracking um other than that, over on Patreon, we've got our competition running, Skojo, Jojo, and Joe Bows. Um, wonderful Sudoku hunt. Loosely themed on clones, but the feedback we've been getting for that has been absolutely terrific, so check that out. Uh, I think also there's uh, Mark's got a new crossword video out today, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that might appeal to some of you. And then, um, what else? Birthdays. Let's do some birthdays. I'll start off with Andrew. Andrew, I know it's your birthday today, and apparently you're planning plenty of chocolate cake uh, with the correct ratio of icing. So I'm delighted to hear that. And Andrew, I'm not sure where you are, but uh, many happy returns. Um, next, Karina, you've turned 23 today, and I know this because your partner, Ona, wrote to us. I hope I'm saying Ona correctly. I think I am, but it could be wrong. And the two of you are over in Mallorca. What a beautiful place to live. Uh, and you watch before you go to sleep each night. As Maverick flies past the window, I can wish Karina very many happy returns. I hope you have chocolate cake, obviously. Um, Daniel, it's your birthday today. I think you're over in Hamburg. Might be wrong, uh, but your fiance Erica wrote to us. I think Erica's from Finland uh, originally. So that, that should narrow it down. Um, and oh, Erica, it's very kind of you to get, I hope I hope you achieve this in the end. I know you were planning on getting Daniel a Patreon subscription uh, for his birthday as he's very difficult to buy for. So Daniel, enjoy that. Uh, have a go with that, that, that Sudoku hunt. Um, Justina, Justina, you turned 33 today over there in Poland. And finally, Jessica, it's your birthday today. And I know this because this is an induced simulation. Jessica, this is not your life. It's an illusion. They've made you forget everything, but there is a way out. You have to wake up. And Jessica, I hope that you get some absolutely great chocolate cake today. And with that, Let's turn our attention to Rat Run 8 Discontinuous by Marty Sears. These are the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, okay, so that is, I was just quickly reading that to check that that's normal. Yeah, so we've got to put the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box. Now, the 3x3 three three boxes are a little hard to see when when Marty has built his mazes. So let, let me sort of show you. The th hopefully it's it's pretty clear, isn't it? You can sort of make them out if I start to highlight them like that. So nor normal Sudoku rules. The aim of the experiment thinks the rat must reach the cupcake by finding a path through the maze. The path must not visit any cell more than once, cross itself or pass through any thick maze walls. As well as moving orthogonally, thinks may move diagonally if there's a two by two space in which to do so but may never pass diagonally through a round wall spot on the corner of a cell. So let's have a look at this grid. 
Okay, so let's look here, for example. I think, let's go to uh, drawing, pen drawing tool. So that's saying that Finks can't move like that because that would go through one of these brown wall spots. But Finks could move like that because that's a diagonal move that doesn't appear to go through any wall. So those are the, oh, there's another thing. Look, there, oh, actually there and there we could do. That's absolutely fine. And it looks like we can do some jiggery pokery in box nine as well. Okay, so that's that's how Finks is allowed to move. Modifier. There are nine doubler cells to be located in the maze, one in each row, column and box, and each containing a different digit. The real value of a doubler cell is calculated by doubling the digit that appears in it. So imagine uh, this square was a doubler and it was a nine, then its value would be 18. Oh, we've got, have we got black currents? Oh yes, we've got black currents today. Okay, um, so black currents. The values of cells connected by a black current are in a one to two ratio. So one is double the other. Not all possible black currents have been given. So these function a bit like black Kropke dots, if you've ever seen such things. Forbidden doors. I don't know if we've had forbidden doors before. We've had one one way doors. Um, the values of cells connected by a red X sum to 10. Okay, so those sum to 10, these sum to 10, and these sum to 10. Finks may never pass through a red X. Not all possible X's have been given. And then the test constraint. In this experiment, dotted box borders divide the correct path into segments, each of which must be a valid Nabner line. No two cells anywhere on a path segment can have consecutive or equal values. E.g., if a path segment contains an 8, there may not be a 7, a 9, or a doubled 4 anywhere else on that segment. I mean, this is just brutal. So let's imagine that we had um, a segment that went like that. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, and let well, let's imagine we put five on the segment. Now this segment cannot contain four or six as naked digits, and it couldn't contain double two, because that would be four and consecutive with five, or double three, because that would be six and consecutive with five. So it, it, it's this weird, I mean, Nabner, Nabner rules are weird. <laughs> there, there, I've said it. <laughs> Do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Right, let's go straight back to the pen tool and see what we can see. I can see that to get out of box one, Finks has to go through there and then down. Um, Finks isn't allowed to go through an X, is she? So, right. I have a lot of difficulty believing that Finks can go seven cells in a box. Okay, we're going to have to think about this, aren't we? So, a Nabna line cannot contain... So, okay, let, let's take it back. Let's let, ignore doublers for a moment. Imagine there's no doublers in the puzzle. What is the longest Nabna line we could possibly construct? It would be a one, three, five, seven, and nine line, which is five cells long because yeah i mean that's the only way you could if, if you were to introduce a sixth cell on that line whatever whatever whichever even digit you included would be consecutive with one of those odd digits so it is the, the most efficient thing we could do is one three five seven nine now let me just think about this. So if I was to say, so I could, I could have a longer line than five cells. But I, okay, but I can only have one doubler in a box. Yeah, so, so we're gonna, within this box, 
I can have one doubler only. So what I was thinking is, could I, could I have a sequence of doublers? Like if I doubled six, I would get a 12. And that's not, cons that's not consecutive with one, three, five, seven, or nine. And if I had an eight doubler, that would be a 16. And that's also not consecutive. But I can't have both of those things. I could have one of them. But I can't, I can't have even double four, can I? Because double four would be eight. And that's obviously consecutive with seven and nine. So I, I don't think... I don't think you can possibly have a length seven Navdana. I think you can have a length six Navdana. But only, only if you use a doubler. I'm just, just let me, I don't think there's anything else you could do. Anything else would be less efficient. Anything else, the maximum would be five. Because once you start introducing even digits, everything gets very, very difficult. Yeah, so, so the most efficient is one, three, five, seven, nine. And then take one of the other even digits that would normally break the nabna and double it. Okay, okay, I'm more comfortable the more I say it. <laughs> so now, okay, so that, well, what that means, I think, is that we cannot turn right at this junction. So we must turn left, we must go there, we must go down, we must go down, we must go down, we must go down. Now that's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that is confirming that we can definitely have a length six Nabna. And I think that the doubler must be in that sequence. Um, oh no, have I made a mistake? How do I get out of this? Oh, I can. Okay, I was just about to say I can't get out of box seven within six cells, but I can, I think. I have to get out here, don't I? Gosh, I've got to be very careful about this. I think I have to get out there. Because if I don't do that... I'm going to take seven cells in the box and I, I genuinely have no idea how we could do that. Ah. Here's an interesting thought then. Yeah, okay. So now I've arrived in box eight how do I traverse box eight? And the reason that's, I think, interesting. Oh, I was hoping I would be able to highlight it. Let's highlight it for a moment. If I go vertical here, then again, I'm going to take another six cell sequence in box eight. And I don't think I can. Because unless I've misunderstood, which is possible, the constraint here. The only way you can possibly construct a six cell Nabna is one, three, five, seven, nine, and a doubled six or a doubled eight. But I'm only allowed to double six and eight once in the puzzle because that's what the rule said, <laughs> um, which is a good reason. I'm sure it said I could have to double one, one digit each, a different digit each time I do, do a doubler. The real value, there are nine doublers, each containing a different digit. Yes, so... If I double four, that's eight, that's no use. Double two is no use. There's no, yeah, there's no way. So, so in fact, to get through this box, I've just got to get out of, out of the box as quickly as I can. And then I'm gonna to have to go through there. Um, but I can, well, there's lots, there's going to be lots of ways of doing this, isn't there? Because I could start going diagonally in box nine. Um, but I could also take five cells without getting into trouble, providing they were all the odd digits. So one, three, five, seven, nine. Although that actually, that might be diff difficult with this black dot sequence. I hate that. <laughs> I hate thinking about black dots when they have doublers involved in them. But okay, but then having got to this cell, 
don't I have to leave? I can't go across there, or that's that is going to be too many. One, two, three, four. No, uh, no, I can't do six. So I have to get out, and I can't go through that junction. So, well, okay, yes, I can't cross the path. So how do I get to the cupcake at all? I've got to go through there. Okay, <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't take six in a box. This is this is beautiful. So how do I? I can't. I can't connect this to this in one segment. It doesn't work. So I think this segment has to duck out again of box six. Go out into. Oh goodness me. I can't go up there because I'm going to bump into an X. So I've got to go across here. Up, either either there, there, or there. And then this is going to go over here, over here. I've now used one, two, three, four. Oh, I see. So maybe I could do that. One, two, three, four, five. That would work. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happens in box five. It's, it seems that there's quite a lot, and that might even be a possibility. Which, knowing Marty, is therefore what will happen because it's, I mean, it's so ludicrous. I mean, it's already quite ludicrous. Um, but it looks like we've we've broadly got the path sketched out, haven't we? Although we don't even know how Finks leaves box one. But at least we've got a start. So let's try and narrow down what's going on because we surely know almost everything. This is, yeah, this is all odd digits and a doubled six or a doubled eight. So these squares are all even digits and they include definitely two and four. And the doubler is in one of those. So let's have a colour for doublers today. What colour should we have? I think the natural, the naturally contrasting colours are either blue or green. Well, let's have blue today. So there's a doubler in one of those. And then this sequence must contain. Okay, yes, yeah, so these are, ah, yeah, yeah, these are all even digits as well, aren't they? And this, this square can't be two or four because the two and the four in box four are vertical. So this is six or eight. The doubler is in one of those squares in box seven. So So in this box, there's a doubled six or a doubled eight. And in this box, there's the other of the doubled six and the doubled eight. And OK, and these digits are all odd. Yes. Oh, I see. This is great. Right. So just by dint of sort of parity in column three, all the even digits have been used up. But I know that in this box, the bottom box, the digit that's doubled is a six or an eight in order to allow me to construct a length six nabna. So it can't be these two digits because it's an even digit that's getting doubled and there are no, there's no possibility that these cells are even. So this is a three, I think, because this digit has to be in a one to two relationship across the back black current with a six or an eight and it's not a doubler. So it's a three or a four by dint of sort of black current logic, but it needs to be odd. So I think that's a three, which makes that a six. Ah, uh, okay, well that's useful in many ways, isn't it? Because now all of a sudden, I know the double over here is eight, which means these squares are a two, four pair. I know the double over here is six. These digits, I'm labeling them, <laughs> are one, five, seven, and nine. That three is on a black dot. Well, 
does that have to be s I think that might have to be six because it can't be double three because that would put two threes in the row and it can't be one and a half I'm going to go with that being six which by by a, an arcane process known as Sudoku places a six in one of those three squares oh, if that's a six what would that be that feels very difficult for that it feels very difficult for that to be a six because that's either three which has no doubling connotation or it's 12 which but anyway it could be 12 as if it's double six and repeats the six so i'm not i think the six is in one of those two squares actually right okay but this is on a this is on a black current but oh i see but that could be a one could it but hang on hang on hang on hang on if it's if it's a four eight relationship the eight is not counting as eight because it's doubled it's counting as 16 so it couldn't be in a black current relationship with a four so i think this is a one and not doubled i'm just gonna i'm just gonna play that through in my brain again i mean in terms of value the value of this it can't be two or four so it is one or eight for value but the only there's no possibility of having a value of eight in anywhere in this box because the actual eight gets doubled yeah okay so that's a one the doubler is now in column one in box seven so none of these are doubled which means none of those are six so the six is in one of these the eight is in one of those by Sudoku. The six is in one of these by Sudoku. And that square is not a one. And this square is a two. So that's a four. Which means there's a four up there by Sudoku. Marty, there's an awful lot of Sudoku in your Sudoku puzzle to this point. This black dot sequence seems impossible. Uh, it doesn't involve three and six, so it's. How do we do this? <laughs> Is it? It can't. It can't be four, eight, sixteen because to get a sixteen, I'd have to double the eight, and I've already put the eight and the four, eight bit of it. But that. Hang on. What? What is it then? One. I've gone I've gone mad sorry I don't understand this at all how do I ever make this work oh oh it's, no I can do it right it is four eight but it's four eight with two except I can't use a two so I use a double one that's bizarre that is absolutely bizarre right so there's a doubler in there I'm going to claim there's absolutely there's I'm very comfortable with that that I mean it's hard enough to make that work even any way at all uh, because normally a sequence of black dots like this if, if there was no possibility of a doubler this square would be a two or a four and it would either be a one two four sequence or a two four eight sequence and you can see that none of that is possible there has to be therefore a double doubler involved in this and it can't be four eight sixteen and it can't be one two four so it is two four eight except we can't use two so the middle digit is four undoubled one of these is doubled one and the other is an actual eight so this is undoubled and is not eight <laughs> it's not eight for that reason and the reason that there is an eight in the row this is four so is this a two um it can't be a doubler so it is a two isn't it that's a natural two so there's a two up here so now 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 thinks has to go through an even two or four so wait a minute hang on hang on hang on so now now <laughs> now she can't 
<laughs> I don't think she can go in the corner, can she? Because if she goes in the corner, the only way you could have a five cell sequence without a doubler, and don't forget we can't have any doublers anymore on five cells. Well, we can't have any useful doublers. We could still have a five cell sequence, but only if it was one, three, five, seven, nine. And that's all odd numbers, and two and four are not odd. So I think. I think. Well, actually, it's still no use. Because it, is it, what that means is that I think we have to have a W, a, 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 w, a diagonal movement. But I've now seen that that, w, that diagonal movement could go in either of two places. Um, which is disappointing. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, I've now noticed there's a one up here. So that makes this me want to say that that's a one-two pair. But that might be interfered with by doublage. I'm not sure. Okay, so I need... Uh, the other thing I'm going to have to keep careful track on is what I've doubled. I've doubled six, I've doubled eight, I've doubled one so far. Um, and now I'm not really sure where to look. I'm one... It could be this... Where where's the weakest where's the weakest link in terms of spotting the logic? Maybe actually maybe it's just row row eight. I've got to put five sevens and nines in. But none of those really are on the path. Um I know there's a doubler up there. Just and that's Sudoku on doublers. Look, I know it's not a doubled one. So there's a doubled five, seven, or nine in box one, five, seven, or nine. Okay, so perhaps I am meant to think about this dot. I have to say I don't relish it. It. Because I don't, I don't know if it's got a doubler involved in it. I mean, if it had a one on it, it would have to have a two on it, wouldn't it? Oh, but then it couldn't be a nabner. Oh, I hadn't thought about the nabner. Ah, oh, hang on, it's the nabner. You see, but if I doubled, if I doubled the two it would be worth four, and it wouldn't be consecutive with the one. Oh, goodness me, this is complicated. Uh, <laughs> um, can we do... Ah, oh, there's a four down here. Maybe Sudoku will be my friend for, one, for once. Um... Or maybe it's actually how we we escape from here. Maybe there is more I can say about this. I don't know actually. That 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 doesn't feel like something I would. I'm going to relish thinking about. maybe this digit is that under some sort of pressure that I'm not seeing it can't be even can it it sees it sees all the even digits so it is an odd digit now it's on the path so it's not okay it's not a one it's not a one by Sudoku so it is three five seven or nine now it's not three because if it was three, I, however this gets to here, it's crossing a natural four or a natural two on the path, both of which are consecutive with three. 
So this is 5, 7 or 9. Now. But the 8 is... No, oh no, it's not a doubled 8 down here. Sorry, sorry. It's a doubled... It's a doubled 1 down here, counting as a 2. And a natural 8. So if I went through the natural 8, that would make this a 5. Because it couldn't be 7 or 9 on the Nabna. Um, bobbins, I don't know. I'm really unsure about that. <laughs> This is probably obvious, but it's it's not obvious to me. Um, okay, so maybe I've got to think harder about about what's on this dot. That I, I can see, or can I? Fit, I sense that there is a restriction because it must have one or two on it, or both, just by Sudoku. That's certainly true, isn't it? So if it has one on it, it is a one-two pair. There's no possibility of a doubler interfering with that. It would be a one-two pair. And in fact, if it was a one-two pair without a doubler, then, then the Nabna line couldn't go through both of the squares. So that would be very that would actually force the Nab the Nabla to turn up there. But and that will be the case if there's a one on this dot. But let's say the one was here. If the one's here, then I suppose that's a two, is it? So that would put a two on the dot. But the two, I can't put four on the dot. Yeah, okay. So actually, it just doesn't work, does it? So I so this is a one two pair because I can't put the one anywhere else it doesn't work. So oddly this is a one two pair. Nothing is doubled in that in that panoply. And the nabna has to then go upwards. And then it, I suppose it has to go there. And now one of these is going to be a one, a one below a two. So there is going to be a two in one of these squares, which is going to mean there's a two in one of those squares by Sudoku in column six. And the two, see, but the two, oh, but hang on then. Oh, we can get ourselves in an absolute pickle here. <laughs> oh, but oh, but okay, okay. The two on this on this dot, and there must be a two in one of these. Can't go with a one because these are both on the same nabna. So the two is going to go with a four, and there's no way to construct a cell with a value of four without using another two and doubling it. So we can't do that. So this is actually a two-four pair. Um. And then it, oh, and that's an eight. Okay, well, that gives me a little bit of Sudoku respite. Right, okay. But, but now, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> now I can't join this up. Marty is just, he's evil. He's actually evil. You can't join this up. Because if you do one, two, three, four, five, six, that's a length six Nabna again. So you've now got to go down there, up there, across here, down here, there, and there. Okay, there we go. So the path is as ludicrous as it possibly can be. Okay, and that is that, that, those sequences we've just created are all fine, except look at one, two, three. Ah, okay. So this is going to have to be. I want to say that's going to be all of the... No, that's wrong, Simon. Well, hmm. No, I'm not sure. I mean, I, th I feel like that has to be 13579. But I'm not... Oh, hang on. What's going on with this X, then? Oh, no. Hang on. Something's gone wrong here, hasn't it? 
Oh, this is baffling. It's absolutely baffling. I'm so sorry, by the way. I mean, it must be... I'm sure it's obvious to many of you what's going on. It is not obvious to me. Um, I'm worried about this digit. I'm worried about this X because the Xs did function as as having two cells that added to 10, didn't they? Oh, but that... So that's going to knock... If that's right, I feel like that's going to knock an odd digit off here. And I, I can't... I, just, I feel like I must have made an error. That, that, it's only a feeling at the moment. I'm not... I'm not absolutely committing myself to the fact I have made an error, but I feel like I might have done. And what is this? What is this black dot relationship? I mean, what can this digit be? It could be three. I can see that. If it's not three, it can't be five across a black dot. Because I'd have to double the five to make ten. And that would be two fives in the column. It can't be, it can't be eight. Because again, this can't be four. This is three. So this is three. But, okay, okay, but if this is 3, this segment here can't go 3, 2, because that would be consecutive. So it goes 3, 1, and that's 2, and that's 4. Good grief. And this is 6, I think. I don't see how it can be, not, how it can be anything other than 6. That's not 6, therefore, and it's not blue. I think it would be incredibly easy to make an error here as well. So now 3 is on this line in one of those squares. Um, the thing is, if that's 8... <laughs> What on earth? Oh, I could put double one. No, I can't put double one because I've used double one. So this is an odd number, I think. Which feels totally and utterly bonkers. Because that means eight is on the line. Okay, I mean, maybe that's the conclusion we have to draw. That eight is on the line. And if eight is on the line... 7 and 9 can't be on the line. I can put one of them here. Okay, I'll put one of them there. But one of them has to be left on the line and has to therefore be doubled to stop us having a problem. Okay, all right. But if this is 7 or 9 natural, which I think I've just proved it is, this square is 1 or 3 natural across the black across the x and it's not 3 so this is 1 this is 9 this is not 9 7 okay let's just fully annotate this line now and check that we understand it it goes 3 5 7 8 and the reason it's not broken as a nabna segment is that I am going to double the 7 in that segment and that will be worth 14 and then I'll have 3, 5, 8, 14 on the line and and 1 uh, that's okay <laughs> that's okay 1 must be across from a 2 I am comfortable with that that's 2, that's 4 this is brilliant Marty it's absolutely brilliant but it's so hard oh, well is it? Oh, it it sort of feels hard it feels hard to do in this um, solving it live in front of people that's what feels hard to me because I think it would be so easy to make an error here and I hope I haven't but I really am not sure um, 5, 7, 8, 9 into the yes, where's, where's 8 in, the, in row 7 that seems to now be resolved it has to be there and isn't that a doubler I think that's a doubler so this is not a doubler so now there's a doubler down here on, on a segment again. Um, <laughs> goodness only knows what that means. Uh, I don't know what that means. Okay, so we've now had doubled. We've had doubled one, doubled six, doubled eight, doubled seven. I'm going to put the seven in there so I remember it's been doubled. I've got up here a doubled five, seven or nine. 
down here I've got doubled something. But I don't know what that something is. And now I don't know what to do. Oh dear, no, I don't know what to do. So where where's the natural place to look now? It's going to be... Okay, these squares are 5, 7 and 9. So these squares are 3 and 6. Um, now, how can I get a 3 in the corner? If that... Yes, I can. I can. Because if this is a 3, I know that to traverse, to connect these line segments, I'm going to have to go through a natural 2 or a natural 4. That will be consecutive with 3. So that's a 6. And that's 3 in the corner. That's 3 in the spotlight, losing its religion. So, okay, so now I've got a 6 on the line. And that's a natural 6. So this square, which is natural, can't be 5 or 7, can it? That's got to be 9, I think. And if that's natural 9, this is not natural 8. Because remember, it's the 1 that's doubled here. So this is, na this is 1 doubled, which can't... This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So now, if 1 is doubled, it's worth 2. So I can't go through a second 2. So that means I go through the 4. I can't go through the 8, because the 8, I still can't go through it. That's why I, That's why that had to be a 1. So I then dia dip diagonally across the box. This is 8. That is not doubled. This is doubled 1. I don't know what all that means, but it feels quite exciting. So now 2 is in one of those squares. And, and what will we do with this knowledge? <laughs> okay, I don't know is the answer. No, I really don't know. I mean, that felt like it was reasonably sensible stuff, didn't it? Four and Do I know what's doubled down here? Ah, okay. I know that 8 is on this segment here by Sudoku. So it's not, so 4 is not doubled on this segment because it would be worth 8, which is the same as 8. There is a knowledge bomb for you from cracking the cryptic. So that won't work. So that means the 4 is not doubled and the 8 is not doubled. So in this box, it's an odd number that's doubled. And that number is not 1. It's not 3. So it's 5, 7 or 9 is doubled down here. So 5, 7 or 9. It's not 7, is it? Because we, we worked out that 7 is in this box. So this collection of digits is a 4 and 8 and a 5 or a 9, which is doubled. And there is definitely a 7 in one of those two squares. So this square is not 7. And Sudoku is being a little bit helpful towards us. So, so the doubler here is 5 or 9. Okay, here's, here is a subsidiary point that we can note. Because the, there's a doubler up here as well, isn't there? That is also not capable of being doubled 1, which we've had, and doubled 7, which we've hypothecated to box 5. So the doubler here is also 5 or 9. So these two boxes, these two little stretches of digits here, they contain doubled 5 and doubled 9 in some order. Actually, that's not 9, I've just noticed. That's not 4. So, 
So now what? <laughs> so now the remaining three boxes have to contain... What have we not had? We've not had double two. We've not had double four, I don't think. I'm not sure we've had double three. But that would imply we'd had all the others. Doubled five, doubled six, doubled seven, doubled eight. Double, yeah, we have. Okay, so these, these boxes contain double two, doubled three, and doubled four. That can't be doubled. It would break the dot. Ah, right. This is this is important. So, where is the double two? Now, it's not here, because that's going to break this dot. It's not here, because I've already had a doubler in column nine. So, I think one of those has to be a double two, which means that's not doubled. And what was it we said? We said that the doubler down here is is the odd digit that lives in this sequence. So it's so that can't be now the odd digit. So this has come right down. This square is four or eight only. There's a double two. So these two boxes now contain doubled four and doubled three. Now how do we do work out which way round they go? So if four was doubled, if four was doubled, oh no, four couldn't be doubled if it was there. So four would be natural if it was there, which would mean three would be doubled in this box. Oh, I don't know. It's tricky, isn't it? Um, is it something to do with? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Uh, ah. Okay. Hang on. Do I know what those digits are? Because they have to be black dot. These two black dots in box one are natural black dots because the doubler is living over here. So these squares can't be five, seven or nine, which can never appear on black dots. And they can't be one, two or four. So they are three, six or eight, but they can't both be three, six. So one of them is an eight. So that's not an eight, which means if one of these is an eight, one of these is a four. So that's not a four. And one of these, oh, and hang on, six, so six is in one of these two squares. Right, 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 right. So this is a three, eight pair, and these are a four, six pair. That's nice. So that's not six. So one of these is four, eight, one of these is three, six. This is a four, six pair. Three, eight. Oh, come on, this is definitely going to do something. I just need to work out what. There's a three in one of those by Sudoku. Two in this box is now in one of these two squares. No, it's not. No, it's not. Two. Two thinks it's a two today. So this is not two. So that's not the doubler. That's not two. Um... If that's a 2, it's on an X. Oh, actually, hang on, I'm going to totally change tack then. Hang on, what's this X? Because that doesn't look very easy to c accomplish at all. It can't. Well, none, none of these squares could be 1, 2 or 3. So I want to say that's got to be 4, 6. But the problem is the doublers, they make it confusing for me. How could it not be four six? It could be. No, I've got. If I double digits that are higher than one, two, or three, that's no use to man nor beast. Because in the other one, I will have to put low digits, which I can't put in. So this is four six, isn't it? And the four seems to have to be there. So that's four. That's six. That's a big win, isn't it? Because now, now in this box, four can't be doubled. 
So this box contains double three. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. According to my pencil marks on doublers, the three, the doubler, sorry, in row six is in one of these squares, which means it's in one of those squares, which means one of these squares is double three now, uh, which it sort of works, doesn't it? Because the double three counts as a six for the purposes of the nabna. <laughs> this digit is now natural, so it's two or eight and it can't be two. So that's eight. Good grief. Okay. There's a six here, so that's a six by Sudoku, which we know is the doubler in box thingy thingy, the technical term for box four. So this is not doublers. Um, doub and the doubler was a seven in this box. So I've now got a three five pair out of absolutely nowhere in, actually I'm gonna put restore that seven corner mark to remind me there's a seven doubler in here. So I've got, I've got, so that's not three. That, so I can place the three in box four. It goes there. I've not put five and nine into row four. So let's put those in. I've not put one and seven into row five. Oh, I thought that would do something, but no. And what's this digit by Sudoku then? Oh, it's not much. It's five or seven by Sudoku. It sees one, three, nine in the odd digits and all the even digits. So it's five or seven. So, uh, oh dear. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is pretty, that's absolutely beautiful. Marty's done it again. Because now how can this be the double three? If it's double three, it counts as six and it will connect these segments. And this couldn't be. That's so clever. So, yeah, so, so, so this is not double three. This is double three. So there's a doubler in one of those. Now I probably know what that is, don't I? Isn't it double four that lives up here? I think it is. I think that's the only doubler we've not identified. But also now we've got to be quite careful, don't we? Because we have to, we have to dodge this, this double three counting as six. Uh, somehow or other, we're going to have to decide, like if we go up here to a four, then this would be a seven. Oh, we can't do that because then that would be an eight. Yeah. Okay, so actually, I think, I might be wrong, but I think we have to do, whoa, not that, definitely not that. I think we have to do that. Because if we don't, if we do go up to the four, we know we can't go into the three because it will be consecutive with five or seven. We have to go to the eight. And now there is no possible value for this that won't be consecutive with the eight or the four. So in fact, we just must miss out the four altogether. We go diagonally to the eight, which tells us this is a five. So that tells us that's a nine, that's a five. Okay, that must be useful. I can tidy up some pencil marks in box one and I've not put in seven and nine into these squares. And one, this is a one or a seven. Okay, that must be resolved. I'm, I'm, I'll, let me just think about it for a second. So yeah, this can't be seven because it will be consecutive with the eight in the sequence. So that's one, that's seven. And that's what tells us the line dips down there because it can't go through the seven into the, at all because the seven and the eight are consecutive. So, so we've now got even more of the path built. But Oh, now I can do more Sudoku. Seven and five go in there. So, the, so this box is suddenly going to get quite pencil markable. Now. Now, where's the next easy deduction? Don't know. I don't know. It's probably one of these. It's probably up here, isn't it? So let's go for three, four, nine in those squares. Let's go for one, six. 
six, five in those. And therefore these should be two, seven, eight. That looks good. And that's not two. And okay, well this is fine. This, oh, yeah, no, I thought I'd broken it. But no, look, I was looking, I could see the doublers in one of these. So I was looking for a natural black dot pair here. And I couldn't see one for a moment, but one, two will work. So that's one, that's two. Um, so the cupcake is a one for what that's worth. So this is now a two. And was two, was two the doubler up here? I can't remember. I think it was, yes, it was, because this was the only box that could contain a double two in it. So we, now we've worked out where that is. That's got to be helpful, surely. Well, yeah, because it's, it's on a funny thingy thing. Um, an X thing. So this counts as four, so it needs a six, which does the six and the four and the, oh no, the eight and the three. So this is not three. This is, oh look at this, this is doing things. Eight, seven by Sudoku. This is not four. I think four was the doubler digit here. So that, oh, we, well, okay, yeah, we can remove the, the blues for a variety of reasons. This square isn't six. So one, three, five, and nine. Oh no, it's not restricted. <laughs> okay, what's, oh, but this black dot could have a doubler on it. Well, it, it can't actually, hang on, look, we can do more Sudoku, five and six. So this has to be three. Can't be 12, can it? So it's a natural three, which means that's a nine and that's a four. And the four was the doubler. So that ought to be useful, which means that's a doubler. Uh, I can't remember. I think I was expecting five or nine to be doubled in this box. This isn't one. This isn't, f oh, this is, this is a one actually by Sudoku. Oh, I see, and I get a 579 triple left over. But that digit's a 3, so that's a 3 and that's a 5, so that's not 5. Um, this isn't blue. <laughs> uh, we're doing okay, sort of, aren't we? The 7 can't go into an 8. <laughs> because that wouldn't work. Or a, actually, or a six, can it? It can't go into either of those squares. So we have to go, we have to go into the five, and then we can't go into the six, but we could, no, we can't go, no, we can't go into the eight. We've still got a seven on the line. So we have to go into the nine. And then we can go, oh, we can't go three, one, because of the, there's a, there's a funny thing blocking us off. But we can't go three, four. I don't. Oh, the four. No, the four's doubled. Oh no, the, that's still no good because the eight's very bad. Eight's very bad if I've got seven and nine on the line. Oh dear, dear, dear. Right. Oh dear. Okay. So we are going to have to. Oh, I don't believe it. I mean, it's you. It's. I mean, just. I don't know if Marty starts these puzzles and just says, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the most complicated path that it's absolutely, that it's in any way possible to construct. Um, because we, I don't think we can get to this finishing point through any of these cells without breaking the puzzle. So we're going to have to go into box two, but I don't know whether we go here or here. I don't think we can go up to there and then in, but it's one of these junctions we're going to have to use. Okay, so let's take stock. Can we do anything simple? <laughs> we can. Four, five, seven, eight. These are from four, five, seven, and eight. And that is not eight. Uh, and that is not four. That's not absolutely brilliant, is it? These are not six. One, seven, eight, nine into these squares. I'm actually going to pencil mark that. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Where's the one in column four? There's only one place it can go. Um, 
Oh, I tell you something I haven't thought about, but now I'm going to. How do I escape? How does Finx get out of box one? Because Finx can't go through a natural three, having started on a two. That would break a Navna, so Finx goes that way. But that's really annoying. <laughs> oh, although that's doubled. Oh, hang on. No, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's perfect. <laughs> because how could this be doubled five? If it's doubled five, it counts as ten. But one of these squares will be natural nine and consecutive with it. Oh, Marty, that's beautiful. So that's got to be doubled nine, which means that's seven, that's five. And that might clear some nonsense up. Oh, let's see. So this is a four, five pair now. Uh, this square is a seven. So I get a five, nine there. That's a nine. Oh, I've got a bad feel. Oh, okay, and seven and the one are resolved by Sudoku. Okay. So how has that resolved anything? This is seven, eight, or nine. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, but if that, okay, if that's doubled nine, then the doubler down here is doubled five. And that's going to, that's going to resolve this box. Because the only place I can put double five apparently is here, which means that's doubled seven by Sudoku. So that's eight. And we've done, I think, the majority of our doublers. Um, and if that, so this is seven. This is nine. Yeah, this is doing things. That's nine by Sudoku. That's eight, that's four, that's four, that's five, that's eight, that's seven, that's nine, that's five. We've done the puzzle. We've done the puzzle, but we haven't finished because we have to plot the path. So let me just make absolutely sure that we've got the path going on this ludicrous journey. I mean, it is as complicated as it can be and it's still not finished. So we end up in a nine here, but this is, yeah, this is counting as four, isn't it? Because it's doubled. So if I go here, I'm gonna to have to go, because I can't go to the six because of the X, I'm gonna to have to go to a five, which is consecutive. That won't work, so I've gotta go up. So I now have no option. I can't go into doubled four, because it would be consecutive with nine. I can't go to six, it would be consecutive with five, and I can't go diagonally. So I have to go to five, and then I have to go up, and then I've got to go back in here. So I'm now on eight, and I, 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 see, I finish. I don't have a choice. So I think that is the path. <laughs> that is incredibly clever, isn't it? I mean, it's an hour's video. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I could have done that much more quickly. I had to see. Oh, it's right. Okay, here we go. Experiment completed successfully. Cells visited 58. Black currents eaten 6. Forbidden doors used 0. Okay, that's good. Um, just like everything else she has faced so far, Fink showed remarkable aptitude for understanding how the modifier cells affected the task at hand, realizing that two 6-cell segments would be impossible if they used 6 and 8 on doublers. Her disinterest in the forbidden doors felt almost like a defiant taunt. <laughs> Look how many people have solved that. Uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's it's one of it's probably is this is this the most popular series in Sudoku history? Discuss. It probably is. Um, that's magnificent. I mean, it's an absolutely world-beating puzzle again. I'm just checking. I must be right. It said it was right. I hope the path's right as well. Uh, it's 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 fascinating. <laughs> it's fascinating and funny, and I can't wait to do the next one. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.